Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between... Okay, Coach, historic Lambeau Field. Fittingly, it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by a man who rewrote Brett Favre's passing records at Southern Miss. It's Nick Mullins. drive in the air. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A well-executed 22-yard gain. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. They'll look to throw. And Philip Dorsett holds it in. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. His throw to the middle, taken in by Cole. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 31-yard line. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? If, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And just like that, it's third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. They're going to look to throw. And that will be incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So now the Packers turn things over to the special teams crew. They're on for the field goal try. This from 44 yards away. And his kick is good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So it'll remain to be seen how many drives this unit gets in, this being the preseason. But here they start with three points. Yeah, I don't know that we'll actually see them anymore. They got three points on the board, one drive here in preseason in this game. Baseball caps, NFL approved, of course, for everyone. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. The thing I like most about Derek Carr's game is not just the right arm and his touch and his ability to find receivers. I think it's his calmness, and I think that 
transmits itself very well to the rest of the team. They feed off of that, and they go out and play with confidence. They run it with Jacobs, and they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive, 17 yards and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Now Carr is complete to the tight end play. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Definitely the last thing you want to see here in a preseason game. We'll be right back. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Carr. Completes it to Ellison to the right side. On your screen now, here are the offensive starters. At wideout, Antonio Brown is certainly someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver. It doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him. To throw his car. Out left, Ellison's got it. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big-time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script. You go through your play calling. You go through all the stuff and establish things. And it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. Now a carry for Jacobs. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. And a peek at the defense for the Packers. Josh Norman was not a first-round pick when he entered the NFL, but he always thought he should be. Never lacked for confidence, and now he plays at a Pro Bowl level. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Tackle made by Tyus Bowser. Throwing his car on third down. Caught on the right side by Adams. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a return of serve, so to speak, here on the second drive of our game as they respond to that opening field goal with three of their own. I like that. Going a little tennis on well, me, I know huh? you. You like to mix it up I with like sports. That. They, yeah. crack, they crack a forehand back out and they get a backhand. What was the start? What was the return on? It was a backhand. I and like a that really one. good backhand. With some nice top spin on the a little, little bit. bit. A little I bit. love it. Almost a mirror image when you really get down to it. I thought that was pretty good. 
good stuff. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. On the ready. Here's second and ten now from the 29. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This taken in by Jakeem Grant. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. Defense. Yeah, the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. So a first and five now after the five yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Teron Johnson able to pick it. 30, 10, and the Raiders are in for six. Touchdown. Well, partner, I do know this. If you're a defensive back, you have more chances to make a team now than ever because people are using five defensive backs, six defensive back packages. Not exclusively, but way more than before. That was a nickel package there, and what a pickoff. Why is that? Why are they using that more? Because more people are throwing the ball on earlier downs than ever before. This has become a passing league, and because of that, more defensive backs on the field on most plays. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10-3 to now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What, what can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Ready, ready. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They'll set up a throw. And able to find Dorsett. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Raiders pick it up. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. No coach or team's ever happy when someone has a turnover. But if there's ever a good time to do it, preseason. Yeah, right <laughs> now. You know that come regular season, he's going to be ready to go. And maybe he'll remember, yeah, I don't want to do this when it comes time for the games to count. And now 
Oakland ready to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? On second down, it's Jenkins. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position. Now facing third down. Here's Carr to throw. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now the point after try for Santos. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with an Oakland touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. But some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Keelan Cole, the intended target. And it's third and short. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw here. On the left side, a catch by White. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? On now is the Packers punter. Back deep, Antonio Brown. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him the first down. 
First down, Raiders. They'll run on first down. It's Jacobs. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Carr defers to Jacobs on the draw. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up. percent of his yardage this season after initial contact that's a great point something for fans to keep in mind tonight when you watch the physicality you know what it's about him 250 pounds you can see the safety Amos coming in there just lowering his shoulder but you cannot lower your shoulder and hope to bring him down he is so effective with that contact ball it's going to run right through there so much fun to try to tackle that guy on a, on a 26 degree night isn't it <laughs> second and one off play action, set up the screen, and banging his way for a first down is Henry after he was initially stopped behind. Come on, baby, let's go. Get and stop, Charles, let's go, let's go. in this one, the fourth quarter became a lot more interesting, I know, than I anticipated, probably you anticipated. A comeback bid falling just a little bit short. You'd never supposed to count a team out, and I know we did not air, but mentally, I just didn't see this type of a comeback, especially one that put them in a position to put the real pressure on them down the stretch. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Lambeau, good night, everybody. And picks up a tough three to the 22-yard line. Petit Frere is the right tackle. He's a, another rookie that the, the Titans play and goes up against the rookie Quay Walker from Georgia. Gets him on his back and buries him to try to give the edge to, to Henry. There's that famous stiff arm from the big man. You give him a chance to build up that momentum. He is obviously a tough guy to bring down. And wearing those sleeves tonight. We've got a story about sleeves at Lambeau from years ago, which we'll get into later, is Tannehill. Throws complete, and that'll be another first down here. Austin Hooper, one of their three tight ends. Snow coming in a little bit harder and a little sideways as well as the wind picks up on this 26-degree night. <laughs> that'll tell you all you need to know. I'll tell you, Todd Downing is a play caller doing a really nice job of mixing up the looks with this attack and how he's put Tannehill in this offense and a very aggressive mindset here on this opening drive on the road. Dontrell Hilliard now in the backfield. Hill hangs in the pocket, fires, caught, touchdown to Hilliard. First play of the night for him. And right off the bat,
Tannehill to Hilliard, and just like that, they go 83 yards in eight plays to take the early lead. Watch the linebacker play right here Ow. with McDuffie. You can also see Walker right here. Both these guys are kind of feeling their way. You got pressure here from Amos, kind of pulls back there, the safety blitz, and down in the red zone, Dontrell Hilliard is a real threat to catch the football and find ways to get into the end zone again. Todd Downing, aggressive, throwing the football on first and ten, really helped Tannehill in this offense out. Hilliard's fourth receiving touchdown, and here is Josh Lambeau, oh. just signed to replace Bullock, and bangs it through just barely. So we have played four minutes and 29 seconds, and the Tennessee Titans come in hot, 7-0. The NFL on TSN is brought to you in part by FanDuel, official sportsbook of the National Football League. Today, you'll make a few bets. And not just on the game, but on every moment in everyday life. You'll bet on how spicy the atomic wings really are. Bet on the extent of your bladder control. And bet on your athletic prowess. My bad. But when it comes to the NFL, bet on North America's number one sportsbook, FanDuel, and make every moment more. Hey, you want to get a table at Giancarlo's tonight? Depends. You still want that fancy rocking chair? <laughs> no, hey, I've always wanted to drive out east. You also wanted that thing. Are we gonna be baby poor? And super boring. <laughs> Come here. Christine found this budget calculator on the CIBC Smart Advice Hub. It showed us how to balance the baby stuff with all our stuff. Smart financial baby steps. Hey, my first dad joke. CIBC. Ambitions made real. Ray just had all this delicious food delivered from M&M Food Market and threw a farewell party for the electrician who they just met today. For our hand-grilled chicken pineapple mini skewers and a smorgasbord of appetizers, any reason will do. At Black Diamond, we put a lot of effort into our sauces, crafting delicious flavors with real cheese and real cream, making it real easy to make a meal. Whether or not you tell people that is up to you. New Black Diamond cheese sauces. Tasty and cheesy, made easy. Head over heels to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown. Don't miss Sunday's biggest moments with NFL Red Zone. Stream on TSN.ca or the TSN app. Dress code, stream new movies like People We Hate at the Wedding. Keep the party going with more of your favorite hits, all included with Prime. See where it takes you, Prime Video. Now, that's a shot of Milwaukee, a couple of hours to the south on Lake Michigan. The Packers played games there through 1994. Two or three normally a season, but that stopped, and all the games are here. But this is a what they call a Milwaukee game because the people that had season tickets in Milwaukee get to go to two regular season games and a preseason game, and this is one of the games. Nixon to run it back. Slipping. Flag is down, so we've had penalties on both runbacks tonight. And Rodgers will come out and probably start a little bit deeper in his own territory. game of the season that great comeback his numbers from last week 14 of 20 fewest attempts he's made this year fewest completions but those three touchdowns all to Watson and he season high rating so many people talking about the the rookie Watson this week and they should it was great to see him have his moment but Having a healthy offensive line and being able to run the ball really got them going. Two good runners, of course, and Jones and Dillon. And here goes Jones. And the Titans are right there with that good front, including David Long coming up from his spot at linebacker to stop him from no gain, even a loss of one. Let's call it second and 11. Matt LaFleur 
is in his fourth season as the head coach. Matt, before he came here, spent one season with Mike Vrabel as the offensive coordinator in Tennessee. 43 and 16, his mark. But coming into the season, he'd only lost 10 games in three years. He's already lost oh, six this is. season. Jones and Dillon now both in the backfield. A little flip to the outside. Jones, and he picks up uh, about four or five yards. Aaron Jones, sixth year in the league. A great find in the draft. Last day of the draft, Texas El Paso picked in the fifth round. And he's done the job ever since he's come here. Looked great as a rookie, and he's been steady and solid throughout his career. Everybody thinks about Dylan as the power guy, but if you really study Aaron Jones, yeah, he's quick, he's shifty, he makes people miss, but not afraid to lower his shoulder and run through tackles himself. They empty it here, third and six. Rogers with that hard count, trying to draw Tennessee offside. Throws to the outside and incomplete. Couldn't hit Robert Tunyon, who leads the team in receptions. So after the Titans go down the field 83 yards for a touchdown, the Packers go three and out. And this Titans defense, when we talked with them, they, they you know, as much respect that they have for, for Aaron Rodgers, who's a Hall of Famer, obviously, they talked about the running game. And they, they, that's what they saw in film was an offensive line that was coming off the ball. And, they are determined to take that away and try to get Aaron Rodgers into those third and obvious passing situations. They've been great against the run all year. Pat O'Donnell, the longtime Chicago Bear, now in his first year here. Caught by C.J. Board at the 37, and a great tackle is made there downfield after a two-yard run back by Rudy Ford, who had two interceptions <laughs> last week against Dallas. hear you kids talking about this is fire that's fire okay let me tell you what's fire conditioning everybody knows us mannings are in peak physical form what? except Peyton <clears throat> I did the other 99 earlier enough was enough we had to show coach fan how we condition personal best here <laughs> he's got potential he's just old you okay man Ooh, I've been better Jackpot City is the home of all things casino. There's just one house rule to create the perfect online casino for you. We built a world-class lineup of classic casino games such as roulette and blackjack and crafted a virtual range of the best slots, including Atlantean treasures. Everything's online. Everything's ready. Everything's for you. So whenever you're feeling playful, head to Jackpot City and you'll be endlessly entertained. Jackpot City. Casino games perfectly made for you. Your favorite original chicken sandwich, now with an Italian twist. A new flavor featuring melted mozzarella and rich marinara sauce. A sandwich you'll crave again and again. Try the new Italian original chicken sandwich today at Burger King. I see a great future for you. Adventures, success in your business, and plenty of romance. You can read all that from my hand? Yes, but not from this one. From the other. Red Bull gives you wings. Everything you need to light up your Christmas spirit. Canadian Tire, Canada's Christmas store. Most in 20 road games in NFL history, 27-96 on the ground. Look at the montage of all the stadiums. Yeah. Get Arrowhead in there. and Very symbolic of his career, what he's been able to do, throw everybody back there. Yeah. Now he's going to wear those sleeves tonight. I mentioned yeah. years ago, Amon Green, great running back for Green Bay, but he was wearing sleeves and he was fumbling. And John Madden, I was working with John, yeah. and John said, that's what's causing it. And, of course, the next time we saw Amon Green, the sleeves were long gone. So we'll see. So far, see so good for him yeah, So far, he's looking good. Yeah. And he's, they're not able to get penetration on that first drive. That's the key in defending him. In the 39-yard line. Starts with a fullback out in front of him. Gets to the 42. Gain of three. It'll be second down 
and seven. You know, this year that the Titans have been incredible with their opening script. That's the fifth time now. The opening drive, Todd Downing and this offense have gone right down the field and put a touchdown on the board. Only the Vikings have had done a better job of that this year. The problem for them has been, of course, the second half. Only four touchdowns the entire year in the second half. But let's see what they do off the script. And none in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Second half called, eighth, they gave him two on the play. Henry lines up eight yards back of the line of scrimmage. Play action, look out, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. Taken down there by Preston Smith. This is the big concern when he drops back to throw. You get a pressure here with a blitz. Derrick Henry does not do a good job, and then you get pressure around the left side around Daly with Smith so Derrick Henry is usually better in pass protection than that doesn't pick up the rookie and then look at Preston Smith known for his power but just able to get around and get the corner on Dennis Daly third and 17 keep it on the ground and this time it's Hilliard who caught that touchdown pass on the first drive so this drive is stopped in its tracks after three plays and then comes the punting group and they've got a fantastic punter undrafted rookie ryan stonehouse out of colorado state who leads the league in punting average by almost two yards this guy's averaging over 53 yards per kick randall cobb who was just activated back to receive it fields at the 21 yard line and Cobb brings it back to the 22-yard line. So Stonehouse that time with the kick right there of 48 yards. Hey, big man. Oh, hey. Dave told me you got some kind of great system for betting that really works. That's true. What is it? Is it like uh, home dogs? No, 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 no. It's bird mascots. No, I, uh, I just use FanDuel's responsible gaming tools like time and spending limits to manage my play. That's the system. Hasn't failed me yet. Cool, cool, cool. You know what, man? I'm just going to keep this between you and me. It's not a secret, Bob. Every better has a system. Make FanDuel's responsible gaming tools a key part of yours. It's more fun that way. You know, this TD app makes things so easy. It's got access to your banking, trading, and rewards together. Pretty sweet. You kids got it so easy. In my day, I had to bank on one app and trade on a completely different app. Know what I did for rewards? I'm gonna guess the third app. Third app. It was exhausting. Isn't he like seven months older than us? We graduated together. It's a whole new world of easy with the TD app. This is an office. Sorry, Gary. TD, ready to help you move forward. Six long years, we're back on the sporting world's biggest stage. Oh, that's fantastic! With a new generation set to make their mark. Canada scored an utterly brilliant goal. History will be written. The dream finally becomes a reality. Canada's FIFA World Cup journey begins against Belgium on TSN and CTV. Well, if you follow football, you know it hasn't been Aaron Rodgers' best season, first 10 games. This season, only 17 touchdown passes, second fewest since he became a starter. Seven picks tied for the second most. Fewest passing yards, lowest passer rating. 93, just above the league average. And of course, you're used to so many fantastic numbers. The team has only 185 points. That's 18 and a half per game. But coming off that great comeback win last week. We'll yeah. see if they build on it. Yeah, and I think you obviously have to go back to the beginning of the year. You 